Hello there, everybody. How are you all doing today? I've got a bit of my headset hair going. Um, yeah. So, time to start Resident Evil 1 Remake. Once again, where we will hopefully finish off Jill's story and then move on to Chris's. Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. All right. Uh, let me just grab my controller real quick. All righty. Alrighty, looking good, looking good. Uh, so already it's been an interesting day today. Um, not as late as it was the other day, of course, but still like a few minutes later than normal. Um, so I had to take some stuff up into the kitchen, and uh, there's kind of a spider blocking my path. And as people may know, I don't like spiders. In fact. Um, fairly arachnophobic. I wouldn't say I'm as bad as I used to be. Uh, but fairly arachnophobic. So, I had to deal with that. And that took a little bit. That took a little bit. Did end up dealing with it, though. I'm not gonna be one of those people that'll say, like, Oh, it was so big. It was pretty small. But, still didn't like it. Still did not like. Still did not like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, yeah, all right. So what was I doing? I opened up a door, I got this key, and now I am gonna be opening doors. Okay, I, was, okay, I, was, I had to give myself a brief, a brief reminder as to what I was doing. Uh, so, I can't open the door on the left, so I got both of those doors kind of in the middle and to the right, so. I think the one in the middle I can open, I don't remember. We'll find out. I'm excited, though. Now, if I seem like a little bit burpy or something, I had a soda right before i haven't had a pop in quite a bit so i was kind of indulging myself a little bit i was like you know what having a nice lunch i'll just pop open a pepsi and see what happens i'll, I'll, I'll just to see what happens pop open a pepsi have a nice sip you know <laughs> pop isn't really um really all that good for me anymore not only because you know the high sugar it's bad for you etc uh but also Leads me to be burpy a tiny smidge. Uses the laboratory key. And also, uh, gives me a bad case of acid reflux. I don't know what that's about, but it does now. So, I don't know. That's weird, but it's whatever. I still have it occasionally. I still have it occasionally. I don't, I don't let it stop me. What the fuck was that? Oh, damn it. This is, this is where the, the, the fucking chimeras are, isn't it? Isn't it? Is, is this where the chimeras are? Why do I have a big lump of Minecraft iron right there? What's that all about? Interesting. Because that is definitely an iron piece of iron from Minecraft. You can't tell me otherwise. Is that all that's in here? No, there's more. Oh, can I push this? No, there's more in here. I don't like those sounds. I really don't like those sounds. I forgot how creepy they were. <clears throat> well, where's... Oh, wait. Question mark, I have an idea. Maybe. Fuck! Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, hate those things. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe this would move back. But it did not. No, there is something else in this room. Where is it? Oh, no. It's gonna be... Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Okay. Okay, so they can come between rooms. Oh, they come between rooms like that. 
can I open this? Just a shut and won't budge. The operating table is covered in blood, so what's the point of me being in here? This blood doesn't look like it came from surgery, though. Okay, let's kill it. Let's just kill it. Look at them. They melt. I forgot they did that. Oh, they look so good. You know, on one hand, uh, oh my god, no. Do they keep respawning? Is that what they do? I don't like this. Oh, that's where the other items are. Okay. The shelf is full of various antitoxins. A body bag lies on the simple bed. The date indicator on the bag is quite old. Ah, an insert disc. Uh, if you had an MO disc, I will insert that disc. Throw that disc right on in there. Get it out of my inventory. Screw it. Hold on. I just want to see something quick. I just want to see something quick. I want to make sure the game isn't actually louder. Because that almost feels like it is, but I want to make sure it's not. Oh, well. It wasn't. But at the same time, it also showed me that it was. That was weird. What did I have it at? Did I have it at 30? I think I had it at 30. Oops. I mean, that sounds about right. It's fine. Ah, uh, Bass Ackward says, Hey, Bass Ackward, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? Says, howdy. I see things are going well. They are. They are. Uh, so far. So far, they're going well enough. Just trying to find where this other item is. My screen blinked, which was kind of strange. <clears throat> I don't know why that is. I feel like... So I don't know if this is an, a me issue or like what, but... Um, for some reason, every now and again, my screen's been like occasionally... Like for like a split second... Oh, whoops. For like a split second, it'll sometimes blink like black. Like just like it'll just kind of blink off and then come back on. I don't know if that's like something I should be concerned about or not. Uh, everything else seems fine. And I want to say it happened after an update. Maybe I should just reinstall my drivers. I don't know. I don't know. It hasn't really been an issue. It's just kind of weird. Kind of off-putting. But besides that, perfectly normal. I don't know if it did it again. I don't know. It's weird. It might, it might, I don't know. It might also be because I all tabbed by accident. Maybe it's like just resetting things. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't bother me much. It's just strange. Various precision instruments used in surgery. There's like nothing in here. I just wanted to like check it. Oh, the operating table is covered in blood. This blood doesn't look like it came from surgery though. Hmm, I see. Also, I don't know if I like that thing um, on the outside of that window. That's a little bit strange. Don't really like that very much. See, Bass Accurate says I'm going to run some errands. Hope things go well. Thank you very much. Hopefully, we'll see you after your errands are done. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I hope your errands go fantastically. How much ammo do I have? I have six. Ah, oh, plus the six on me. Yeah. I ah, know for this is key. Get that key out of there. Just check it on away. I don't need it. Just a chat. So which? So this is one that leads to the library. Are there are enemies here. Well, there are zombies. 
Oh, there's a safe room here too. Yeah, see, I think we're really close to actually um to actually finishing off the game before. Nice. Right, let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, chairs and supplies lie scattered about. The walls are covered with dozens of claw marks. Hmm. Oh, ooh, I see grenade rounds. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go ahead and pick up some of these. You're going in the box, but maybe not quite. I don't know. Let me think here. Hmm. Because we're going to be going through some pretty, some pretty, pretty nasty stuff here soon. So. I'm debating if I want to save. I don't think I really need to. I mean, I literally just started, so I don't think I really need to. Uh, hold up. Put you in there, and now we'll put you away. And... Let's see. Yeah, decent amount of shotgun shells. Um... Oh boy, we're coming up to one of my favorite parts. You'll see. You'll know when we get there. You'll know when we get there. We're coming from one of my favorite parts. Not actually, by the way, for anyone wondering. I'm not being legit. I'm not being serious. God, that zombie sounds so, so disturbing. I don't remember them sounding so disturbing before. Okay, so here is, here, my friends, is where we utilize the zigzag. A lot. Oh, uh, what's this? Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Okay. Refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. I will take that. Although I didn't wish to take that quite right now. Damn. Uh, yeah. Orange caution. Can, do these guys have an instant kill move? I don't remember. I may as well heal just in case. Ah, oh, look at them, dude. They're so creepy. Ah, oh, I hate them. Oh, I hate them. I love them, but I hate them. Mm. Okay, here's the MO disc thing. Okay, good. So now we've officially done all the MO discs. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Hmm. Now what could that something be, I wonder? I see a thingy that I want to pick up. Not like it really matters, I don't think, to be fair. There's not even anything in this room that I need or want. We'll run around anyway. We'll take a quick peek. Yeah, I think this is just legit where I get... I, I think I end the game, kind of. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm gonna be a bit legit. I don't because I have I have nine of these. I have nine stun gun batteries. Nine? I really see. I remember when I played this game before. I would have like very few by the time I ended the game. Now it's like uh, two knives, nine stun gun batteries. Like man, have I just been killing that much more? Or have I been like really good? I can't tell. It's one of the two. Maybe, you know what? Maybe both. I'll give myself some credit. Maybe both, right? Howdy. Hmm. 
Mm, now the refueling is... I don't quite remember where, actually. I want to say the refueling station is like... I mean, I don't want to go there quite right now anyway, regardless. But I think it's somewhere... It might be to the right here. I, I don't remember. I really don't. No, this way is to the... Where's the refueling spot? Hold on. Is it's not in the cadaver room. It mm, I don't think it's up in that room either. Well, I did see it. Maybe it is in this room. Maybe it is in this room. I'll go there in a moment. It's locked. If you can just get those levers on the right to work, it should open. Oliver's uh, releasing door locks. It looks usable. I will pull it. All of them, please. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just pull them one at a time, I guess. See, if this were me in real life, I would just grab all of them with my forearm and arm and just go bleh. Push them all down. Be super satisfying. Now, what sort of reward do we get for doing the optional stuff? Because that was optional, by the way. Hey, it's Chris. I mean, I know where he was. Jill? Chris, you're alive. Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh. Yeah, you it keep trying, Jill. Happen. Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay. No sightseeing, though. Yeah, so, yeah, that's not really uh, super worse. But it's still kind of fun. It's a fun little thing you can come to. It's just like, oh, Chris is here. Nice. So we haven't unlocked the best ending yet, but we're on our way. And that makes me pretty happy. Pretty, pretty happy. So, it has to be this room, right? I really don't remember. It is this room, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, see, I did vaguely kind of almost remember. Yeah, I will set the capsule in place. <sighs> we got the fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of the fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. So. This is where it gets kind of weird. I guess. Not weird, but like, how do I want to, how do I want to describe it? It gets interesting because the game doesn't want you to run. I think if you, I think you can shoot. I think. I'm pretty sure you can shoot. Otherwise, I don't know how you're going to deal with the chimeras. Um, and I think if you stand too close to the fire by where you're supposed to place this, I think it can also explode and potentially, well, kill you, right? zombie appear and then I just walk away. Yeah, I'm fine. So we go to the right. Okay. I'm hoping I do this correctly. I'd rather not have to repeat some of this stuff. I mean, it's not like it's even that much, but still. I'd rather not do a repeat. Get off me. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, see, we're fine. We're fine. No need to be concerned. No need to be concerned. 
Uh, BS. A fuel supplying device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. Set the capsule in the place, I will. It looks just like a normal bottle. Oh, I got my dagger back. Nice. I don't know if that's because I blew off its head, maybe. Or maybe because it just melts. No. Oh. Anyway, we can run now, so that's good. Ugh. Yeah, one thing I find... Now, just because that being, like, a, a two-liter bottle of, like, a liquid or something, like, having that look with the cap, it kind of reminded me of how... It kind of got me thinking of cars. So, one thing I find really interesting with cars... As if you look at the engine, a lot of it looks like a lot of the things that like holds uh, the various liquids and stuff. It all looks so, it looks so like thrown together, you know? Cause like you have like a jug and like another jug. And I think some cars even do look like they have two liter bottles like in, in them that hold their stuff. I don't know. It's, it's interesting to me. It's cool, kind of. But also very, like, why, you know? So I think I can get prepped for, like, a final fight-ish. I think. I don't really remember, but I think. Because I think doing the power, I think that probably... Gave me access to the lift, I think. With which we can obviously do one of the final fights. Which I'm very much looking forward to. Hold on. Part of that is because I want to show this off. So this right here. Uh, actually one of the most powerful guns in the game. And I'm not even joking. Oh wait, I could use the Magnum. One round has been fired already. Yeah, why am I not using the Magnum? Hold on. So here's the thing, like, why take the shotgun? You can take the Magnum, right? Like, shotgun's good, don't get me wrong, but Magnum's a Magnum. And I, I wouldn't want to leave that at home. Where is it? It's up fire, right? I think I got it near top. Yeah, here it is. Oh, look at it. It's so good. It's so good. So, so I don't really care much for guns, right? I don't really care too much for guns. I, I don't see them as like a toy. I don't see them as like just, you know, something to really have for like even self-defense. Like I'm, I'm not like pro-gun. I'm not anti-gun. I'm just very much in the middle of like guns are okay. They can serve a purpose, whatever, right? Hold on, I'm just making sure that, because I was like aiming up there really weirdly, but like Resident Evil has made me love the Magnum, like a lot. Like I love Magnums in real life because and revolvers especially because of this game in particular because it just looks so good and it's like Barry's gun of choice. And I just think that's awesome. I think it's so cool. I think it's so so cool. Look, if I ever own a gun, it's just going to be a historical gun, like a World War II or World War One gun. Because that's the kind of stuff I enjoy, right? So if I ever do own, like, a gun of any sort, it's just going to be one of those. Probably not even, like, working condition. All of it could be. I guess it would be kind of neat. Uh, let's see. Bass Ackward says, just writing some letters. It's interesting what you see when you disassemble things. Something shampoo bottles are... Yeah, sometimes shampoo bottles are smaller than they appear, you're right. Or like batteries. I saw a clear lighter once. It was also interesting. Even if I lean, I guess, a bit towards more regulation, guns are indeed very cool. Yeah, right? Like, guns are very cool. At, at least some of them are. Like I said, I'm not pro-gun. I'm not anti-gun. I think you regulate a firearm. I think we're doing pretty okay with that, at least up here in Canada. Um... Like, I don't think everybody should have, like, a pistol or anything, right? Um... You know, hunting guns, I mean, that's fair. You hunt with them, right? They're like a tool in that regard. But I'm, I'm not like... I'm not pro-gun or anti-gun. I guess I'm, I'm just like, you regulate them. 
You know, you make them. I, I'm very. I am. I am anti uh, 3D printing printed guns, though. I, I will say that. I have one friend who's very like 3D printed guns are just the way to go, and I'm like, well, no, I 100% disagree because they're just really hard to track and uh, they should be illegal in my opinion. Because he, because he, he's very like. Now he's very, he's very pro gun, and he's very. He's very pro the government shouldn't. He's American. Uh, so he's so maybe his thoughts are more valid because of that. I don't know. Because I don't know how the U.S. government really kind of is. But he's very much like pro gun, pro 3D printed gun, pro government shouldn't tell me what to do kind of person. Which I disagree with completely, to be honest. Um not a, not a fan of 3D printed guns. I think they should indeed be illegal. But that, that's my that's my personal take on that. That might upset some people, but it's my opinion. It's my take. Um, but yeah, going back to like what we were talking about though, that got me. Uh, that got that reminded me. I I saw this post on because like because like I said before, I'm, I've gotten back into uh, Warhammer minis, like you know, Games Workshop minis. I know. Right. It, it it came back to me. Um. Um. But I remember seeing a post from someone where they had this this relatively cheap like primer for minis, and then he took off the label and it was just a Games Workshop uh primer bottle, just like re rebranded. And it's like, well, that's actually really interesting. Right. And I've seen that for various other products, too, where it's like they'll just take something, put a label on it and then just resell it. It's so weird, but it's it's weirdly cool, actually. See, Bass Aggro says I've never really looked into it, but I don't know how you could stop it. Well, that's kind of the thing. I don't think. Well, I think the reason he got into that discussion is because I think this German guy who was really well known and prolific in making 3D printed guns. I think he put up like videos uh, on YouTube or something. I guess he got raided by like uh, German police and they shut him down. And that, that's when he started talking about it. Admittedly, I don't really know how you would, could stop it or regulate it unless they do post about it. But I mean, I feel like, I mean, it's not a big enough issue now. Not enough people are out there 3D printing guns, I assume. Uh, most people don't have access to that. But I feel like somehow you regulate it right like i don't know maybe you give people 3d printing printed gun rights maybe uh i don't know i'm not too sure either but i don't think it should be legal for just uh, that, that's a better way to put it i don't think it should be legal for just anybody to do it if someone can say get rights to it then sure i guess but i don't know Bass Hacker, so that guy, I didn't know his conviction had to do with 3D printing guns. I thought it was all bought. I think it was 3D printed guns. I'm pretty sure, because I think that's what got my friend talking about it. Admittedly, I don't know much about, like, that case. I didn't look it up. Uh, well, I might have. I might have looked it up briefly at the time, because he was talking about it, and I wanted to be more informed. So I looked it up. Because I wanted to give my personal thoughts on if I thought, like, uh, like how I thought about it. And whenever I do that, I, I need to look up, well, my own information, right? Because I, I want to I wanna know, right? I don't want to just go in there and say, well, no, I think it's good or I think it's bad. So usually if I get into, like, not an argument, but if I get into a debate with someone over something, I do try to look it up. At least a little bit. I remember hearing that there is a way for the 3D printer to reject designs that seem like guns, but I know it's easy enough to circumvent. Maybe that's maybe that's the, the thing. Maybe that's the key in the future. Then, if they if people do, if governments do decide to regulate or outright make uh, 3D, 3D printed guns legal, then I could see them maybe really going like, okay, well, let's try to make it reject gun designs a whole lot more, right? I don't know. That, that's a future people problem. That's like a problem for people in like maybe five to ten years, right? The elevator isn't working. It looks like you have to operate the switch on the right hand side. Okay, fine, game. Here's the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch, I will. Doesn't seem to be getting any power. Okay, well, I messed up then. Okay, I did mess up. Hold on. 
Hold on. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. So I should be doing this and talking um, at the same time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's say I know that might be controversial to some, but my, my thoughts on that. The, now, remember, though, this is a Canadian perspective, right? My my nation has never been like all about guns. So anybody from America might completely disagree with me as, as well, which is fair, right? Different circumstances, different way of life, different way of teaching. Uh, to me, guns were always seen as like a tool to hunt at most, not really a tool to defend and certainly not a tool to kill uh, other people. So my thoughts and opinions may differ, of course. There's no power to the main elevator. Start her up. Yeah, I will. There we go. Now, now the elevator has power. Let's go. Yeah, sorry. Don't turn around, Kamira. Don't turn around, bud. So yeah, that's a, that's a Canadian. Well, one Canadian's viewpoint on this. I know some Canadians will be different too. Uh, and not that I am against anybody that does really like guns. By the way, I don't want to. I don't want to seem like that. Like I think guns are cool too. I'm not. Like I said, I'm not anti-gun. I'm also not pro-gun. So I don't have any problems with people that do like guns a lot and want them. It's just, you know, I don't mind stating my opinion. I don't mind getting into a debate if I if I feel like I should, right? And I don't care if I win a debate either. I, I just sometimes like to talk about this stuff. I, I just think it's, yeah, I think it can be interesting to talk to people from uh, with different perspectives and stuff. Even if minds won't change. It's interesting to know people's opinions. Uh, Bass Eckert says, I don't know if we had the AI discussion. I've checked out that infinite Seinfeld thing. It's definitely interesting. I actually watched a little bit of that. Like, I think like maybe 15 minutes a few days ago. I was actually pretty impressed with that. So if we want to have an AI discussion before I get on the elevator and trigger probably a couple cutscenes, cutscenes, uh, my quick blast on AI... So I used to actually think AI art. Well, so let's go to AI art real quick. Uh, so I used to actually think AI art was okay for now. That lasted for like a few days. And then I learned a bit more about what AI art actually does. And then I was like, yeah, okay. Not really too keen on that. Not really too keen on that. So I don't really approve of AI art anymore. Now my, now my opinion is completely changed on that. Um, AI stuff as a whole, I think is pretty good and it's the way of the future. It's gonna happen. Things are gonna be more art uh, more artificial intelligences are gonna come about. It's gonna be a lot more interesting. It, it's it's the future, it really is. Um uh, then you have like the thing I saw on Twitter literally today about like a Twitch streamer, I think, having deep fake porn of herself made i think that's pretty gross personally you can't really stop it but i think that's uh i think that's also going a bit too far i saw some people on twitter saying like eh, she's overreacting yeah no not really it's it's kind of that, that's not really cool to to be fair it looks like you can't really stop it right it'd be kind of hard to stop that it'd, it'd be like trying to stop people from drawing porn of you right like it, it, it'll happen if someone wants to do it, but I don't think it's cool, you know. Well, with the deep fake porn thing, I think that's a bit too much. I think the thing with the whole legal situation with is that it hasn't been done yet, but there's been similar situations with copyright. You're also not for AR, AI art. Yeah, perfectly fair. I think if someone is, they don't really understand what it does. Kind of like me. Cause that was my thing with AI art. I didn't really know what it did. I was like, okay, so it probably takes like a face. It probably makes a face. It probably does this. I'm like, okay, that's kind of fair. Then I found out, oh no, it actually pulls little bits and pieces kind of from art it finds online and kind of puts it together and makes its own thing. And then I was like, mm, okay, maybe that's, maybe that's not as cool, right? 
Best Secret says, yeah, that's horrifying. And in regards to the deep fake porn thing. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really dig that very much. I don't. I think AI is, a AI is the way of the future, for sure. But there are limitations and there are limits to what we should, to what should be happening with AI. The elevator is working. Jill. Hey, Barry. You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. I do look at AI chatbots, though. They're kind of fun. They're kind of fun. I, I played around with a couple. And they're they're okay. They're fun enough. Hey, Barry, look, we both have a Magnum. They look like each other. We got twins. Although yours looks bigger, which I think makes sense. Uh, Bass Accurate says it's more like how much it can't work by itself with guidance. It can also, it can like, I remember hearing about how instead of making spider webs, Pixar has a Whisper. spider which makes it for them. That's cool. I think that's cool. Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. So you can't really blame Barry. Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <laughs> You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry. <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He I do. Really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family. You bastard. Oh. oh. Ouch. Umbrella. Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. Look at the tyrant, dude. Look at it. It's still cool. I know people make fun of the fact that it has the, the heart outside its body. It's not complete yet. Leave it alone, right? You do have to wonder who the tyrant is, right? It's magnificent. Who could it have been at For one the point? Sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. Yeah, Barry, you're it's not Umbrella to blame. and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! Flip the switch. Turn it back. Let all the liquid goo go back in. Ugh. Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together. In hell. In hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. Goodbye, Whisker. Ah, oh, Barry, no. No, Barry. You viral cultured freak. Oh, look at it. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we're putting the self-defense gun on. I'm just gonna make sure I'm at a safe distance. 
Okay, so that's one shot from that. Oh. How am I doing health wise? Hey, I'm doing okay. I don't know if that hit it. Okay, hold up. There we go. So that is mostly because I used the self-defense gun. What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Oh, he comes back, though. Observation note. The discovery of the G-Virus was, in fact, 21 years after the administration of the pr primogenitor virus. The prototype parasite, which we delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. They used now twice. Uh, Bass Ackwich says, oh yeah, stuff like open AI adventure. That seems like fun. That infinite Seinfeld thing just uses AI for the writing. The assets are original, I think. So that's cool. You also have like, was it character.beta or something? Which is also really interesting. Like that kind of stuff is really neat. Premature is certainly an unorthodox last word. Yeah, you know, I still don't really know why he says that. I don't really get it. I think he's, I believe he's trying to say like, oh, the tyrant's premature. But he would have known that by looking at it in the capsule. So I don't really know what he means by that. Right? That still kind of confuses me a bit. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to drive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the BOW's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research. But unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin. So see, this is what I love about the remake too, is it really kind of ties together the other games, like, even better. Because it's like, ah, oh, you know, oh, the G-Virus? Oh, that's in 2. Ah, so this must be William Birkin's notes, right? Who is also from 2. And oh, he mentions Alexia. Right? He mentions Alexia herself. So that's another, so that's a tie-in to Code Veronica, right? Like, it really kind of ties everything together really nicely in this remake. Let's go uh, help Barry. Barry! Barry! <sighs> You're okay. Uh, Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. Nah, okay, Barry. Wesker. Oh. He's gone. Mysterious. First, let's just get out of here. So mysterious. Hi, right, Barry. Let's go. Uh, let's refill up on my ammo here. I still have my shotgun shells. It's kind of a whoopsie. Nothing else in here. No, there's not. Door is electronically locked. It looks like it does it automatically in case of emergency. What? How do I get out then? Do I hit a button here? Oh, probably this thing. Machine needs to compile experimental data. Experimental data. How do I get out? Wait, hold on. The panel used to release the emergency electronic lock. Release the lock, yes. It's been released. Be free, electronic lock. Be free. Didn't even really need to heal either. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. Oh, but there's like an item up there, supposedly. Uh, let's see. Bass Hacker says, all right. So done with writing the letter. I'm actually going to head out to do said errands. Hope the escape goes well. Thank you very much, Bass Hacker. I hope your errands also go well. And we shall catch you later, friendo.
Can I go back? I can, okay. I just know there's an item up here and I'm curious what it is. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's shotgun shells. Okay, well, that's that's not too bad then. Didn't even use the shotgun for the tyrant. In fact, probably won't use the shotgun anymore. I'm kind of funny. See, I still have this arsenal on me. Arsenal of heals, arsenal of everything, really. Healing, ammo, weaponry. Uh, I don't really need these. I guess I could like have one more, one more set of heals. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna save, by the way. I don't, I don't think I need to. Okay, so if all of the door locks are open, then let's go and save Chris. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, look at them. They look so good. They look so freaky. They just look so freaky. There are so many good enemy designs. Nope. That's an interesting camera angle. Hey, Chris, why didn't you try to open the door? The lock is released. I really don't get why Chris didn't try opening the door himself. That would have saved him some time and some trouble. Jill. Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of? Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's cheese it. Come on, Chris. How is why does he still have his pistol? I don't maybe I don't really understand that either, actually. That's a little bit strange. What's the lore behind that? Unless Wesker just didn't care when he captured Chris. It was like, eh, I don't care. What are you gonna do? Shoot your way through the door? Come on, let's go. You're probably just not supposed to think about it. You're probably supposed to just accept, yeah, he has a pistol, whatever. <sighs> Alright. And I believe it is this way. See, and I could have even used the grenade launcher more. At this point, we're going to finish the game without even needing to use it once. Well, that's a lie. I've used it a few times, I guess, but... Not use it as often. I don't think I've used a normal grenade. Come on, come on, hurry! Well... I don't really need this. I don't really need that either. I may as well just leave them. As poo poo as it sounds. So Brad's been flying all night. I just want to point that out. But that's dedication for someone who just cheesed it on out of there. A fuse unit? Yeah, I'll take that. The elevator isn't receiving power. The fuse unit is missing. Well, guess what I have? 
A perfectly fine and working fuse unit. Three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? <laughs> All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Night. See you, Chris. See you, Barry. So I was thinking about this a little bit. I think the reason why they make it so you got to pick up the fuse and put it in there is to make sure you have space in your inventory for the flare. Because if you don't have space for the flare, you're just kind of trapped. Man, three minutes, though. It's still pretty tight. I thought it was five. I think it's normally five in, like, other games. Maybe not so much in one. Maybe in one it was always three. Ah. Will you take the signal rockets? I will take the signal rockets. I wonder if these actually exist. Because they look cool as hell. Like, I know it's just a flare, but it comes under, like, a big-ass suitcase. Hmm? Jill! You made it! Hmm. Oh, no. Ah, oh, Chris, no. No. Uh -oh. Okay, good. Oh, gotta reload. What are you doing, Tyrant? Oh. Oh shit. Jill, get up. Jill, get up. Jill, get up. Okay, we need to heal. I need to heal something fierce. Jill, use it. All right. Whatever it is. Thanks, Brad. Ah, uh, the rocket launcher. Let's go. Let's go. It's time. Hasta la vista, tyrant. So good. Always so, so good. Victory sip. I was like, where's the earth shattering kaboom? And Chris is like, damn, my long journey begins. Such a simple ending. A simple ending for a simple story. But it's still so good. Yeah, it's so weird how like a game like Resident Evil, even just even counting the like the, the very first game in the whole series, right? It's like It's such a simple story, and that simple story spawned a franchise of games right and all the games have fairly simple stories which is the funny thing at least the ones i played um all have like fairly simple stories but yet resident evil somehow managed to make it work because like it's like here are some people they're going to a mansion there are zombies oh a, a whisker betrayal and then you kill a tyrant and then oh i'm in the helicopter and then you fly away that's the end right it's like how did that spawn how they're, telling, they're showing you one of the costumes in this cutscene. It's like, how did that spawn a whole series of games? A rather successful, successful series of games. 
Hey, Kitty, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? Kitty says, I was here for the ending. Woo! Well, I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah, this was... This was indeed a really... It, it, it's still one of my favorite games of all time, without a doubt. It will always be one of my favorite games. They'll always be one of my favorite games. I don't know. Jill. You did a fine job. Eight hours. So, I mean, Creatures Dispatch, 55, seven ink ribbons. I mean, overall, that's okay. I mean, eight hours is a really long time compared to what you can do, but that's still all right. Now play with the features from the prototype version. Real survival mode unlocked. Item boxes are no longer connected, meaning that items can only be taken from the box where they were stored. Also, weapon aiming is manual. Experience these prototype only features unavailable in the original Resident Evil gameplay. Yeah, I, I see why these are prototypes. I'm not going to play this version, because I feel like that'd be really hard, but it's still really fun. And Jill's new costume, I think it's just her Resident Evil 3 outfit. Whoop. Um, do I save over Jill's? I could do that. Yeah, we'll save it over the OG Claire data, I guess. May as well. Yeah, and see, now the title screen is different. And then you have once again. So, I will admit, right, fully I will admit, that normally, so what I used to do is when I used to play the Resident Evil games on the GameCube, like uh, the remake on the GameCube, I would literally just delete my save file and then do new game again. I wouldn't pick once again mode. And I guess in theory, I could still do that here. Like, not delete my save, but I think I can still do it if I don't reload. Like, if I don't load up the fact I cleared the game. Because once again, mode is a little different. It's a little different. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. I just... It's just... Uh, there's something about it that makes it, like, very mildly harder. But I mean, like, very mildly harder. But we're doing once again mode. And we can actually pick our difficulty, so we're doing normal. Resident Evil. A new costume has been unlocked. I assume that's for Jill, probably. But we're playing as Chris. We're doing Chris mode now. Chris Redfield. Now, I don't think I need to go through the intro again, do I? Alpha team is flying around the forest. So yeah, it's all just the same. Northwest Raccoon. So I'll just like skip that. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. Now, see, this bit's different. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? Now, yeah, where is Barry? He was here in a previous Please. timeline. No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Now, Chris, for some reason, uh, doesn't serve as a gun, by the way. He has a knife. Less inventory slots as well, so... Yeah. That's what makes him harder. So I've mentioned before, Chris is harder. I think his knife technically does deal more damage, but eh. Who really cares? Who really cares right now, you know? Not gonna use it still. Still so good. Ah, still so good. Bye. Now, 
Now hoping Chris's playthrough doesn't really take as long as Jill's. Yeah, once you get the feel for the mansion and like where everything is, hopefully it, it's a little bit quicker, right? I'm not saying I'm gonna try to speed run. I'm, I'm never gonna try to speed run anything. Not not certainly not on the channel, but Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? Nah, maybe speedrun one day, but probably not this game. I don't think I'd have, have fun speedrunning Resident Evil. I will take Jill's pistol, please.